Hi everybody! This is going to be a two-part video. It is Thursday evening and I wanted to show you how far I got this evening. Um, I am finally finished with all of the fill-in colors and I am ready to start doing the detailed lining and the outlining. So, what you're looking at here is um, nothing new. You already saw what I did with the letter L and the letter I last video. But the letter J I had a, a tiny bit to do and that was painting this little plate that the Green Eggs and Ham is on and Grumpy Guy's hat. So I've done that. Instead of black I went with gray. It'll have a lot of black um, detailed lines in it though so it's going to appear darker than what it is right now. A is um, again a letter that you saw in last video. Nothing's changed with letter A but letter H was the one that I really had to work on. Um, I had really little bits to do just in the J and the H was really the main one I had to focus on. So here is Horton. He is all painted and I decided to go with the orange for the stem because the stems have like these black lines in and I thought oh it'll look like a tiger tail and you know elephant, I don't know, I just went with it, I thought it was cool. And um, the fluff, I painted the same color because um, if my memory serves me correctly, I'm thinking Horton picked this out of a a bunch of them or he arrives at a bunch of them and they're the same thing so I was like oh I'll just paint it the same color that way I have incorporated all the colors kind of either you know you at least see the color twice or something like that or it's, it's been in, in most of the letters so that is what's going on with that um, yeah, like I said, they kind of still look a little uh, weird in a way because of their eyes and stuff, but um, that is about to change very soon. And I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but I kept a letter out whenever I started. I started with the letter L. <laughs> um, the reason I did that is because I actually completely finished the one letter tonight. So it has the full color in, it's been outlined, and the details are there. So, are you ready? Okay, <laughs> here we go. There is Mr. Cat in the Hat. So, as you can see, he is... He's got it, he's got it all. He's outlined everywhere, and um, it's got all his little details painted in in him and, and it you know around you know little the little lines on his hat and all that stuff and um, I must say that this one um, is not my best work <laughs> um, I experimented tonight I was trying to see if I could get away with using a marker and I'll show you the marker here it is a painter's marker and they are used for specifically writing, calligraphy, drawing on things, and I use them for outlining. And even though it says it's fine, um, if you look at the green grass, you can see how thick it actually is. So it's not really a good use of these for this small of a scale. But you know, I made it work like... Um, Around the fingers, I use this marker. Around the bow, I use the marker. And then that's when I, I was looking at it. I was like, ugh, that, those lines look too thick to me. They need to be thin like the detailed lines are. And um, I did my best to clean it up and make it look, um, look, look good for this project. And I hope I was successful at doing that. But I think from this point on, I won't be using that marker... I might be able to get away with using it on Horton because he's bigger so I might be able to or at least if I can use it I might do the um, just the, the main outer edge without going in inside 
and do that that'll cut down my time big like a huge <laughs> um, the, the detailing and the outlining does take a long time this letter did not take me as long because I used the marker for the most part but all these little intricate lines and details that takes a while I mean it's just you could spend mm, a good hour two hours just on one on one uh, character depending on how much detailing and lines you have to draw in the character and I don't have a lot of these lines pre-drawn I draw them in just freehand with the, the brush let me show you the brush I used if it'll pick it up it's it's um, pretty small so this is my brush I used I don't know I don't think it's picking it up guys I can't tell my eyes are so blurry right now I think it is I hope it is but this is a brush that um, you can see it looks a little funny <laughs> there used to be a lot more bristles on this brush I basically cut half maybe a little over half of the bristles off of this brush and this is my fine detailing brush I also use this brush to paint hair on reborns and to do eyebrows and stuff. I find it's perfect for that. So this is what I will be using from here on out at least inside all of the inside lines. I'm hoping to get away with the outside lines with the marker in some areas. Like there's going to be spaces like this little piece right here that little green see that little green triangle? If I use the marker it'll all be black and I don't want that so I'm gonna use the I'm gonna to have to use the brush there at least in that spot and all of these tiny little things I mean it just looks so much better if you use the skinnier marker so probably this entire thing I'll have to use the paintbrush so it'll take a while for that one and then this one same thing there's another little these two little triangular shapes the marker I'm pretty sure will fill that completely in with black and I don't want that so and this especially his hair there's no way I'm going to be able to use that marker for that it's just too tiny now with these guys I might be able to for some of it like I could probably outline their bodies with it no problem but when it gets to their hair I'll have to go back to the brush and then same with this if I'm going around this I'm probably gonna have to use the brush I can probably use the the marker around the bush and around Horton but all the inside lines again I will use this so yeah that is it for today I will be back on Friday to um, fill you in and hopefully show you all of them done just like cat in the hat here um, so stay tuned um, like I said I'll be back and I'll be back shortly to show you the rest of them okay talk to you in a little bit hey guys it's Friday evening and I am making some major progress um, thought I'd come on here before I take a quick break I am just need a drink of water and just kind of sit down and rest my neck a little bit because I've been looking down for the past couple hours here but look at him he looks so much better <laughs> um, so these this one is done it's drying right now so I can't really touch it but here is the eye actually I can lay that down right there there's the eye with the fish and I actually like the peach now that I have the detailing on it actually looks kind of nice so yeah there's the fish and you guys saw cat in the hat already but I'll show them again there's cat in the hat and I got one more done there's the letter L if you remember those were those two little cute little yellow critters so there's the letter L and I got two more to do so after my little break I am going to come back and do 
thing one and thing two. I forget which one's which. I think this is thing two and that's thing one, I think. And then Horton. And I will be finished with this project. It is now 10.33. <laughs> so it's going to be a late one. An all-nighter, guys. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, it'll be more than a few minutes. But to you, it'll be in just a moment. And I'll finish painting up these, these rest of these letters. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys. It is now 1 o'clock in the morning. Saturday morning and the letters are complete uh, I wanted to come back on and show some more of the painting but um, I wasn't able to do that tonight I'm just I wanted to get them done and to record and make sure the camera's set up properly and all that stuff it just takes um, it would have taken too much time out of my already gone evening <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with them. Once again, we have Cat in the Hat. And here's these cute little guys. Don't have any clue what characters they are, but there is the fish. And we've got green eggs and ham. And thing one and thing two. And finally, drum roll please. <laughs> Horton. Yay. So yeah, I think they are super cute. I love the the colors in them. They're very bright and very cheery. And I think they will look super awesome on the nursery wall. So I am going to head off to bed. I thank you all so very much for coming with me on this journey. It's been a pleasure doing this and a blast having all of you with me. And I enjoy all of your comments so very much. And I'm glad you enjoyed watching this process happen. So, okay guys, um, have a lovely weekend. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this posted on the weekend or if it will be on Monday I know I hate to make you wait so long but um, you guys know the story about my my awesome internet that I have <laughs> and uh, how I have so much trouble trying to get things to upload but so yeah here they are I just think they're pretty cool and I cannot wait to see mommy's face when she sees these or even the grandmother I'm taking them over to her tomorrow morning when I wake up so yay I was I was able to use the um, the marker in some spots like you know around these guys and around Horton and all of the things and then supplemented with the brush so that ended up working out really well and I'm super glad that I was able to do that because that marker let me tell you that cuts down the time so much but I need to invest in some skinnier ones I'm sure they make them they probably make them pretty thin and I need to look into those so everybody thanks again for hanging with me and have a good weekend. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. Whoopsie. Sorry, guys. I forgot to show you Horton with his mouth. <laughs>